So, Marillo. Hey, John. How are you doing? I, uh, I, uh, That's how we're doing normal? How, how does one answer that question right now, really? Like, I feel like I woke up at an appropriate time, and then I showered, and then I had breakfast, and then I went to work. But I also kind of feel like we're living in The Walking Dead without the zombies. So I don't know how I'm doing. Like, it's, 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 an, odd, it's an odd time. It is. You know? And imagine for me, I've never been home. I never spend one day, full day at home. Even the weekends, I am always outside, talking to people, networking, drawing something, and, and, and try to introduce myself. So for the past five years, or I don't know, since I know me, it's, it's been like ongoing, no stop. And now, suddenly, the world stop. And I'm feeling, okay, I need to learn how to live with my wife. I need to learn how to talk with my kids. I need to learn how to cook, how to help her at the, the chores at home because she was in charge of everything. Yeah. I was leaving every day, seven, eight, doing the breakfast with the mayor and going some nights. I was coming from the, the casino playing poker with the, the big guys in Ottawa where I just spent three weeks, full three weeks in Austin and everything was working here at home. So now for the first time ever, I have my home office. I just got my first printer. I need to print some documents so I, I don't have anywhere to go. I'm still in quarantine. So what, I gotta ask, you, you are the definition. If you look up in the, the, the dictionary, world citizen, it's you, like it's you, it's you're, you're there. Like you, you've been such a, a waterfall of positivity for Ottawa specifically. Like your story is, I don't want to say famous, but like citizen of the year, you bring so much positivity to so many people um, in Ottawa specifically. And now you're, you're going on a world tour. What is it like to be like a big fish in a small pond? It's then getting introduced to Austin. You just said you were, you were introducing Ruckify to Austin. What's that like? So Ottawa was a very, first of all, we need, you need to be that one. You need to outgoing. You need to talk to people. You need to smile to get back. So I did this for the past five years and or all my life. But here in Ottawa specific, I have to break that wall. Remember the first time I sent you the message on LinkedIn, say, hey, John, I really love your TED Talk. I really want to have like a ice cream with you or like <laughs> coffee, right? The tea. And yeah. you, you open your office. You open your time. You give me five minutes. Jeno Suds was the same. Uh, Chad Quaddy was the same, our May, our counselor. Uh, and people was giving me the feedback I was looking for to grow my new life in, in, in Canada, in a different country, with a different mm-hmm. language, to introduce my family. So for me now to be at home, I, I just had a call with a big guy in Austin and said, you know what, I built all this reputation already outside. So now I have the whole world in my hand in a, in a screen, in a computer, LinkedIn, Facebook. Now I'm in Snapchat, TikTok. Uh, we're doing... Whoa, 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 whoa. You're on TikTok? Yeah, TikTok. <laughs> Your daughter? <laughs> my daughter only talks to me on TikTok. So <laughs> Snapchat. So Instagram, she's... Facebook, I'm all over the place. I just got a two a warning, like they canceled my Facebook account. I'm suspended because I was too aggressive. I was too pushy. They thought I was a computer. Really? I was a robot, like messaging everyone. Hey, how are you? What are you uh-huh. doing? What are you gonna do? Like, I don't sleep. So for me, it was 24 hours. And they thought I was a robot. So they sent a message, Marillo, be aware, we are watching you. If you keep doing what you're doing, you're gonna cancel, you're gonna suspend your account. Okay, so they give me just a suspension to April 5th. And last night just happened with uh, LinkedIn as well. No so, kidding? Yeah, I think they, they think I'm a robot. Can I, can, just, I test you, can I test you right now in regards to your TikTok of course. truthfulness? Yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna, I've never done this before, and I'm going to screw up some of the words, but I just want to see how you react. Are you ready okay. for that? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> Can I call my daughter? <laughs> no, no. Are you ready? Well, let's go. Going to two step, y'all cowboy, man, sweetheart. There you go. 
<laughs> okay, so you know, you know, you know. I'm that, a country music guy, so I love this one. Okay, so I, 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 I'm not. I feel like I should be on TikTok now, just so I can, you know, watch this. But you I don't have kids, so as soon as you, I'm learning with them all the time. So my son is helping me with different things. All the books he's reading about uh, Harry Potter, and I, we're watching the movies. And I'm now I'm introducing them what I used to watch when I was a kid. Oh, so that's... last night we would just watch hockey. You know Rocky Balboa? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we just watched last night the first one. So tonight my wife said, "Okay, we're gonna watch Titanic." So oh, my kids, wow. my kids never heard about all this movie, but now we have time. We're thinking about our lives and say, "Okay, what it's entertaining you today? Let's see what." was going on in our life when I was 15, 16, or yeah. so it is like uh, amazing to have that. I think my wife and I were discussing about this today. I said, okay, we, that I'm glad this, all this happened in our life because everything yeah. stopped. So now we're reflecting the whole world is going to change and going to appreciate the time, the, the people you have around you. I have like, I'm checking on three people every day because I know they are doing very, they're not strong enough to pass through this. They don't have anyone at home. Like, so people I know it's, it's looking for help. Yep. Uh, it's, it's, it's kind of mine giving back just to say, Hey, how are you? Hey, what are you doing? How do you need something? My neighbors here, all senior people around us in Stittsville here. And my wife is doing groceries because I cannot leave. So she's doing groceries for like, five different families and oh, wow. but they cannot leave. They're worried. They, they, they know that they need to be at home. So we are, we're learning and I, I love TikTok. It's give me so much fun and, and it's nice music. It's vibrant. It's, it's, it's rejuvenated. Yeah. So I really recommend you to try and tag me and we're going to do some TikToks together. Can you, and I'm not saying no, I'm saying maybe, um, can you ruckify toilet paper? Like, is that a thing? Like, tell me more about, like, I guess it's like the, the, the world rental space, but. It's not more How just rental and any, you know? uh, we just got a, a project. So we just agreement with uh, United Way. So that's not more just a rental thing. We are sharing everything. So if you have a spare computer at home, if you have your spare, uh, your old, uh, cell phone, your old, even your webcam. Remember, you used to have a webcam in our, so this is a big hit now because a lot of people still in Ottawa, they don't have access. They, they own, they have like a, there is like a landline at home, but the doctors need to see your face. If you were like, right. uh, have a disability or for drug, drug addict, addicted, and you need, the doctor needs to see your face. So now Rockify is helping all these people with no access to, cameras or internet or cell phones we need to help them to connect with the social workers with the doctors yeah. so we right away reach out to us to help okay we need to connect both ends so i'm sure if you look around you have an extra laptop you have like a, a, a your old cell phone and you can it's a symbolic rockify just waive all the fees so you're not charging anything that. everything is a hundred percent for everyone free to post and we do the delivery and we helping them to the sanitize and clean and uh, hygienic, everything like before and after. And we have insurance. So even if your old computer never come back, we're going to buy a new one or try to fix or to repair that for you. So uh, it's a rental industry, but now it's more sharing and, and, and caring. And, and now the society is it's looking at us as a, a hope. And like you said, the world's gonna change. We need to learn our behaviors. And even without Rockify, next time you're gonna look on and say, okay, I'm gonna help this guy doing his lawn. I'm gonna help cutting his grass. I'm gonna help him to do like, he remove his snow and do some groceries for my neighbor. Why we need to go every day to the office? Why you need to do groceries every day? A hundred people in the same time doing Costco, buying piles and piles of toilet papers and if you, yeah. Just buy what you're gonna use and 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 share what we already own. One simple example is uh, the RV industry. We have two million RVs in in whole cross Canada, and average the family only used two weeks for whole year. 
Oh, wow. They spend 100000 between forty dollars to $150,000 in RVs. And, and they only rent, they only use for two weeks. So can you imagine like how many people can take advantage, how many people can use now? And now, especially with this old, these crazy times, uh, they can use the RV as like an extra room. If someone's sick at home, you can park your RV outside and this guy's gonna be insulated close to you. You don't need to go to the hospital. We don't need to. So that's, uh, it's something we work on this and, and it's helping. And people with RVs, they are giving, they're renting their RVs for that purpose. It's not a fun trip. It's not like a family trip. It's just to help someone need the extra room. Yeah. Okay, so Murillo, uh, we could talk all day. We've talked all day before. We'll talk all day again. Uh, I'm looking in the background. I see your Rucafi poster, your Brazilian flag. Uh, I believe that it's, it's a little fuzzy, but I'm pretty sure that's your family. It is beautiful. What, that's what's um, motivating me. What is what has surprised you the most about what you've learned about yourself over the past couple of weeks? Like you, you, you and I are the same. We 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 hustle. We go. We do. We talk. We shake We get energy from other people we inject energy into uh other people as well but like what have you what, what has surprised you the most about what you've learned about yourself during this just completely abnormal time was well, tough lesson but i just learned how to say no and how to manage my time i was like all over the place doing a lot of things but now my boss, he's not, she's not here with me. She don't know what I'm doing. And I need to manage my time to do what she's asking me to do and also do all million things. Everybody's asking me, can you do this? Can you help me with this? I lost my job, I need this. I used to work in a, a nonprofit organization help immigrants find a job. So I start my career or my life, I got my name out of Ottawa, helping people to find a job. Yep. So now it's, I don't know, like, 40, 30% of my network, they lost their jobs. So now they are coming back to me. Oh, Marilo, remember you've helped me to find that job. So can you yep. help me now? I said, man, I'm trying to keep my job. I'm trying to survive. Wakufi just laid off a lot of people and I, I, I'm one of them to survive. And I, I'm trying to do the best I can to prove my value to the company and yep. keep doing and, and keep working. And I know I'm, I was already crazy one by one, one on one and a face to face. Can imagine now with all this world in my hand and I can, they are, I don't say they take advantage, but I, I am take advantage with uh, people I trust like you and like so many people I, I know in Ottawa, they're helping me to keep going and keep doing what I was doing. And uh, so I, you asked me what I learned, I learned how to say no. So I said, okay, man, now I need to focus in my, what I'm doing now, I cannot, it's a lot of shiny things happening in my life. A lot of opportunities. Yep. A buddy love me. Really should do this. Really need to help me with this. Really need... Can I pick your brain? Can I? I just need a five minutes. And just need another minute. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I really, really want to help you. But this, I, I, I have to say no. Let's come yeah. back and and reunite like in a few months. So, I, I need to rockify is my biggest thing. It's my family. So now I'm learning how to enjoy my time with my family. I never had that. I'm still learning. They're complaining. I'm all the time with the phone. So they're taking like they are after seven, eight, they, they remove the phone and they hide the phone in the house so I cannot have access. So for me, I'm very, it's, 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 it's a punishment, but my family, it's, it's, it's seeing me, I, I'm addicted with the technology. I'm yep. addicted on my phone. So I, I'm, I'm learning how to, to disconnect yep. and connect with my family. And for that, I need to say no to a lot of people. So was it my biggest lesson, like to be home, talk to my wife and my kids. The same thing I did with Ottawa, now I need to integrate back in my own house. That's, it's unbelievable the feeling, but I'm walking my dog. I, I don't sleep, so I, I already walk in my dog at six in the morning. I, I have my coffee and then I start already to do my posting, replying mails and say a few no's. Uh, 
but now I'm here with you and I, I, I'm glad because I met to you like probably four years ago and, and, and I, you were one of my mentors. You are one of my, my, uh-huh. yeah, my, when I say, when I grow up, I want to be like you. I, I mean that I, I really want to, to have that energy and uh, that, uh, and now with my English getting better or improving, I know we're going to do a lot of things together and I, I know I can share. And that's my first video. I don't know. I remember I never had this interview before in my life and I feel confident enough today to, to be here with you. And I, I'm, it's an honor for me. Thank you. Oh, Marillo. Jeez, you're making me blush now. Like oh, what I was going to say is, is, is thank you for saying yes. Number one. Um, and you're, you're, you're a bundle of energy. You're a positive lightning bolt that, not just Ottawa, but I think we need in general in Canada. Um, your insight has been really, really great. And I, I really like how you kind of focused on converting your work Murillo into your family Murillo. Like that's, that's, that's a big transition that a lot of people are kind of seeing themselves have to make right now. And I, I really appreciate you taking the time and hopefully be- some enjoyment. Like, I don't know who's going to see this. I don't know uh, if it's going to, you know, blow up or tank. I have no idea. Like, I'm just, I'm just enjoying trying Thank this you. stuff out. But it's been great to to reconnect. And let's 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 get some lunch before. Well, not before, but when it's socially acceptable to get some lunch, let's get some lunch. And you know, I'd love to bring you to. There you go. Ice cream, man. There you go. Ice cream and up tops. Bam, and I, I, should I go on TikTok and do the sweetheart? I'll let you know. And I, I don't know the words either, so. You're going to love it. It's so oh. much fun. And um, <laughs> my daughter is 14, and of course, she makes fun of me. Everything it's, I do, it's, it's. But uh, I need to be part. My life is changing. The technology is there. I know the whole world is mine, and um the hard parts we did already. Yeah. We, we've been yourselves. We work hard. And lucky, I only think I'm lucky. More I work, luckier I get. That's right, say that? I hear you. And people say, okay, hey, Rula, how are you keeping so energy, so much energy if all these bad things happen? He said, just try to, to use this for a good thing. So that's my last to say and i appreciate your time up top right here bam you be good you and the family keep safe thank you